Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam Ala nabiyyana Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'da habita fillah The guidance, the hidayah from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Hadha ni'ma min ni'amillah. That is a favor from amongst the various favors of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to have hidayah. Hidayah to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be on Islam and hidayah to be on the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam not just in the fold of Islam because there are those who are in the fold of Islam but they're not on the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah meaning they have weak understanding and they practice bid'ah from the various types of bid'ah which take them out of the fold of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah meaning that they're Muslim but they have sin because of the bid'ah that they're upon and the Muslim should always show their gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by being obedient to him to Barakah ta'ala and by asking and begging him for hidayah, for an increase in guidance, and to remain on guidance. رَبَّنَا لَا تَزِقْ قُلُوبَنَا بَدَا ذَدَيْتَنَا وَحَبْ لَنَا مِنْ لَدُونْكُ رَحْمَةً إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ الْوَحَاب Oh Allah! رَبَّنَا لَا تَزِقْ قُلُوبَنَا Oh our Lord, don't let our hearts be deviated after you have guided us, give us your mercy. Verily, you are Al Wahhab, you are the giver. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sustains us, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us ni'am. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us guidance. And this is why in Surah Al-Fatiha, we recite, اِهْدِنَا الصُّرَاتُ الْمُسْتَقِينَ اِهْدِنَا الصُّرَاتُ الْمُسْتَقِينَ Oh, <clears throat> here, here we're, 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 you're imploring Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's in the imperative form. It's a, it's a, uh, it's a uh, supplication. اِهْدِنَا الصُّرَاتُ الْمُسْتَقِينَ Guide us. To the straight path. Letting us know that that hidayah comes from Allah. The hidayah comes from Allah. That na'mah, that favor from Allah, that Allah guided you from darkness to light, from bid'ah to sunnah, from kufr to iman, from shirk to tawheed. That's guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Had a hidayah. Min Allah azza wa jal. So the believer has to be grateful and has to continue, continually ask for guidance and to not be misguided, to not go away from that path. Rabbana la tazikulubana bada the daytana. Oh our Lord, please don't allow for us to deviate after you have guided us. And there are many ways that we can deviate. We can deviate in our aqidah, our creed, our understanding with newly invented interpretations, new ideologies, feminism, uh, accepting homosexuality as a practice and as, a, uh, as a, uh, an approach, a lifestyle, uh, secularism, removing Islam from, from our daily lives or only allowing it, it should only go in the masjid, not in other things, everything else is, is up for grabs. So all of these false ideologies can be ways of deviating from hidayah, from guidance. And this hidayah that's from Allah Azza wa Jal can also, a person also can deviate through their Shubahat, or through their shahwat, meaning through their desires. This is a scary one. Because that means it's something that you desire. It's something that you're inclined to, 
as a human being, for example, a karmakam Allah, sexual deviance, sinful sexual behavior, meaning it's not based in the marital bond. Instead, it is through having girlfriends and boyfriends, through uh, all kind of illicit relations. So those are ways the shaitan can deviate you away from guidance because you can remain in that sin to and, and begin to legitimize that sin, to begin to think, well, I'm not hurting anybody else by having my girlfriend. My boyfriend doesn't hurt anybody. He's not hurting anybody. So what's the problem? And you begin to think that it's halal. And they can go to the extent to where you make the halal haram and the haram halal istihlal, which is a type of disbelief. So it shows you how misguidance can take you to disbelief, even from sin. Thinking the sins that are ma'lum in a deen bidurura, that are known by necessity to be muharram, to then believing that those sins are permissible. And that shows you how your sin, Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah said a beautiful statement. He said, al-ma'asi barid al-kufr. He said that sinfulness is a means to disbelief. It's a wasila. So meaning that sin is not disbelief. When somebody drinks alcohol, that's not disbelief. However, it is a means because it's a form of wickedness and that wickedness leads to disbelief and it's the way of the people of disbelief. So for example, the one who begins to drink alcohol or smoke weed and get high or whatever the case may be, which is a known, known sense, basically, especially alcohol. And then they begin to soften that sin, meaning that it becomes not such a big deal. You know, hey, it's my private sin. Until they begin to then begin to believe falsely that that is permissible. And that's how you see that it leads to disbelief. The last thing I want to mention, the habit of Elias Hidayah, Hidayah, uh, as the ulama mentioned, Hidayah no'an. Hidayah no'an. Hidayah is two types. Hidayah to Irshad, wa Hidayah to Tawfiq. Hidayah to Irshad, wa Hidayah to Tawfiq. Hidayah to Hishad, a habatifillah. This means, for example, you're giving da'wah. For example, the brothers who are active and they're calling non-Muslims to Islam, they set up booths, they have vans, and they do all this good work. Or they feed the homeless, and they shelter the poor, or whatever they're doing, and they're, they're, they're calling people to good. They're calling people to Islam. This is hidayah to irshad. Or the, 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 the talib al-ilm, or the sheikh, who's giving the lectures and... and and become a source of guidance for others that is calling them to practice the sunnah of the Prophet wasallam, calling them to practice good and what have you. Have a hidayah to irshad. Hidayah to tawfiq, which is the second type, is when uh, it's, it's the success of that call. Meaning that this is the hidayah that lies with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. That Allah is the only one who can change that heart and is the true source of changing the heart that he guides a person to leave sin or he guides a person to Islam or he guides a person to the sunnah that's the tawfiq from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that means that's the success from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so he dies of two types. He died to irshad, which means like you're giving dawah and you're giving, you're leading people. Arshad nas, you give, you give people the way, you show them the way, you give them dalil, you give them the means to get there. What he died to tawfiq is that the people accept it, that their hearts become open to that guidance, and they accept guidance. Have them in Allah Azza wa Jal alone. And we ask Allah the Almighty to bless us with guidance, to guide us away from sin, 
Guide us away from ma'asi. Guide us away from kufr. Guide us away from hypocrisy. Guide us away from everything that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hates. And guide us to everything that he loves. Wa sallallahu wa sallam. Ala nabiyyana Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi. Wa sallam.